Hi, I'm Renee Esquivel, and you're tuning into my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. As any user of HomeKit knows, there aren't as many compatible devices for Apple HomeKit as there are for Google and Amazon. And Home Depot has launched a new line of products, uh, smart devices, um, call, and their product line is called Hubspace. They are not compatible with HomeKit, but if you've installed HomeBridge, uh, then I'm gonna show you in this video how you can actually use those devices. It's rather simple and straightforward. Um, and if you haven't installed HomeBridge, I'll put up a link for my YouTube video. It's very brief and inside of 10 minutes, you'll open up the world of uh, devices that otherwise wouldn't be compatible with HomeKit and you'll be able to use them. Okay, let's get right into it. Okay, on the iPhone, you wanna go ahead and launch the App Store because you're gonna install the Hubspace app. That's your first step. Okay, um, let's go ahead and download it and install. And it shouldn't take very long. Go ahead and open it up. Tap, let's get started. And you'll want to register if it's your first time using it. I've already registered, so I'm just going to go ahead and put in my email and password that I used when I registered. Okay. And then that brings you to the Hubspace app. Click OK, authorize Bluetooth, tap on the plus sign for additional options for adding things. Click on add product. Click on OK to authorize use of the camera by the app. Scan your QR code, even if it's upside down like you saw me doing, and it sees the light. Uh, okay, I wanna give it a nice short name, color. I'm gonna add it to office, because that's where I wanna, that's where it's gonna go in my office. Uh, click next, uh, select your Wi-Fi, and uh, type in your Wi-Fi password. And then connect. And after a brief moment, it will connect. You'll see your light flicker uh, with like a light blue uh, type light, and you'll know you're golden. Go ahead and click done. And I just turned it off and then back on just to see it working from the third party app. Now let's get it added to Homebridge. So go to your Homebridge URL, localhost 8581 that you see there, and tap on plugins and go in your search field for plugins and type Hubspace, install, And now you want to log in with the same username and password that you used when you registered for the home space. And that username is going to be an email. Password, I'm blocking that out here because it does display the password. Okay, click save. And, click. and then put it in its own child bridge. That way it won't knock off home bridge if something goes wrong with it. Click save. And at this point, reboot your computer. Uh, you got to reboot your computer. But when that's done, come back into the portal and uh, scroll up on your logs. You're looking for an eight digit code inside of a gray box. That's the code generated when the plugin for Homebridge was installed, uh, for Hubspace was installed. You'll need that code to manually add this to Apple HomeKit. And alternatively, you can click on the menu option for log file. Same view as what you see there, only it's wider, and you scroll up, but it's going to be the same code, same box, uh, as you saw previously. Okay, now let's go add this to HomeKit. So on my iPhone, I launched the HomeKit app, and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus sign to add. Add accessory. I'm going to more options. You see Hubspace, yay! Go ahead and click on it. Uh, add anyway, 
put in that eight digit code that you saw earlier, yours will be different, but use the one that your log file displays. Okay, click continue. And then uh, I'm gonna install it in Office, but you place in whatever room makes sense for you. Um, but it's physically, physically in my office, so I'm gonna put it in Office and continue. I'm gonna stick with the default name there. And it's been added. Fantastic, we're ready for the live demo now. Click continue. Oh, in the Office, uh, color location for the light. Continue. And now, we're Done, we're ready now. Hey Siri, set color to 10%. One sec. The color is taking a while to respond. Hey Siri, set color to 80%. Hey Siri, set color to 10%. Hey Siri, set color to blue. Sorry, I can't do that. Hey Siri, set color to the color blue. Sorry, I can't do that. Hey Siri, set color to 50%. Now that wasn't very difficult, was it? Uh, and uh, just stepping through the video, voila, uh, you're ready. Now, if it wasn't clear, uh, you should uh, reboot your Mac Mini M1 or whatever device, uh, whatever computer you're using to run the uh, home bridge. Want to reboot that after you've installed the HubSpace plugin? It, it's not enough to just turn the service on and turn it off from the web portal. You actually have to reboot the computer. But once you do, it will see the devices. I hope you enjoy this. Please give me a like and subscribe. And everybody who supports my channel uh, with, the, with the subscribe, I will counter subscribe. And I'll look at content on your video as well. And, and do likes as well so that we help each other out. So please, I, I really do appreciate the support. But I, I could use some more. And thank you very much again. Bye-bye.